Uh, yes. So, Usha, my question is that whether, uh, what does emphasis think? Okay. Do they only protect the women employees or it is a gender neutral policy? And what do they think? Or why, if it is a gender neutral policy, from where did it come? Okay. Yeah. Because the law only talks about protecting women employees. Right. So, uh, very, very, very valid point. Uh, while even in the Visaka guidelines, uh, they had said that the chairperson must be a woman uh, and that the number of uh, uh, committee members, uh, the number of women committee members should be more than the men committee members. So, we've, that's a Visaka guideline and we have followed that. Uh, but having said that, the organization does not discriminate whether the harassment is uh, towards a, a woman or a man. Uh, and that is again communicated in all our awareness session that we said that everybody is equal and this is not a woman only policy. In fact, I think that has been another big uh, brownie point for emphasis because we have treated men on par with women as far as sexual harassment is concerned because men are equally harassed uh, as much as women are. It's just that women come forward a lot more than men do because of the uh, social stigma of a man coming and saying, hey, I was harassed. So I can uh, vouch because I've been uh, uh, in this committee for the last seven years. We have had cases where man has uh, filed a case against a woman, a woman against a man, of course, woman against woman, man against man. We have treated everything with the same seriousness and same uh, level of depth and detail as we would if it was uh, a woman uh, complaining against a man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 